talk about um, drill music. There's a lot of talk about the violence that's associated with it. One on one with Brooklyn rapper Mano. Mano just brought some of the biggest names in hip hop to City Hall, including rapper Fabio Foreign. So the man could get a, a real perspective and a real understanding of what drill rap is. In recent weeks, two drill rappers have been murdered in Brooklyn. Friday Mayor Eric Adams expressed his concerns over drill songs and videos posted to social media that reference ongoing gang wars, telling PIX11 News. It is alarming. Nobody was talking to the direct artist that comes from that element. Mano says he went to City Hall hoping to set the record straight. Conversation gets deep because, you know, um, a lot of these kids, they in gangs before they even made a rap, a rap record. So is it is it the music? I don't think it's the music that's uh, 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 getting uh, the average person to do crime. After his sit down with hip hop leaders today, the mayor expressed. Violent people who are using drill rapping to post who they killed and then antagonize the people who they are going to kill is what the problem is. And they heard me. Contrary to recent headlines declaring the mayor wants to shut down or crush drill music, Mayor Adams made clear he's committed to working with the hip hop community. Jelani Ray is a music industry executive and the founder of Guns for Grants. The mayor also let it be known that, you know, we have a, uh, a responsibility as being influencers and uh, the rappers that were there. Drama, controversy, and concern over rap lyrics certainly isn't new. 30 years ago, they wanted to ban Snoop Dogg and Dr. Dre. Mano hopes the new open dialogue between rappers and the mayor will lead to a new partnership that works to ensure hip hop lyrics don't lead to real life violence. We're going to be rolling out something in the next few days to deal with this issue. It was a great conversation. I was happy to have them there.